find my market, my who who are my tribe. You know, that was one of the things that I really wanted to focus in on this year because I did have a successful first year and I didn't really know anything, you know, uh, about the, running a creative business. So Sharon, you said you had a successful first year as a full-time artist. Do you mind sharing what your uh, sales were in your first year? I sold 99 paintings. Wow. In my first year. What was it? Was there? A, what was the dollar amount? Do you mind sharing that? Well, I I made I uh, over six thousand dollars in in sales, but obviously my my prices were too low uh, for that um, that volume of, of work. Um, another challenge that I have is that I sold mostly in Canada, not in Norway. I sold in the Middle East and I sold in India as well, all online. Yeah. But most of it is not didn't come from where I actually live, so that that's another uh, issue for me is that my the market that has been buying from me is so far away from me. Right. I don't know if that actually matters, but like being able to do, uh, you know, uh, customer appreciation parties and things like that would be a real challenge for me. And like trying to push too hard, like trying to, you know, trying to sell. And that, like I was putting discounts on, which I should never have done. I should never have done it. Are you going to do it anymore? Never, never, never. I swear. I swear. Because I understand the disservice. Oh, my swear. hand is off. I, I absolutely <laughs> swear. Yeah, I, I, I did a disservice to myself. So what happens is that artists want something, but they have a hard time believing they can actually accomplish it because they have self-limiting beliefs embedded in their self subconscious mind, which mm -hmm. is undermining their ability to believe. Mm -hmm. So the, one of the um, so I'm really proud to say that I'm good friends with a very famous performance psychologist named Dr. George Pratt, who is one of our guest lecturers, lecturers in the program. He gives a four minute daily exercise, which is so doable. You can do four minutes a day and a students who do well in the program, read his book and they do the four minute daily exercise. They do three things. They, they schedule their time to learn at their own pace because this is all your own pace. Number two, they find study partners. They make friends that they meet with on video calls just like this. And then number three, they do the exercise. And it that's the formula for success in the program. It's really not any more complicated than that. If you do those three things, there's no way you're not going to experience results. You will. So Michelle writes, the code to joy, wow, I'm about 40% in and I have bells and whistles ring all over the place. Has anyone felt compelled to complete the book before moving through course two seg course one segments? Um, I'm beginning to think that I'm a lot more messed up than I thought I was, although that was already a lot. I know you're not, actually. What you're doing is you're just uncovering the beliefs you were that were self-limiting that mm -hmm. you're just aware, unaware of, and now you get to clean them out. And then she writes, it's kind of scary and exciting at the same time to go back there, but also to finally resolve so much. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Can you just tell me like, what was one big bell or whistle that went off so far? Oh my goodness. Um, well, well in, in on, under each one of the limiting beliefs, I, I related to something. Um, I had a, a major tragedy happen in my personal life, in my family. I, I, I lost uh, two, my father and my brother and my uncle all at the same time oh. when I was 21. But I also lost my sister, my younger sister, when uh, I was only six years old. So I'm old enough to remember that. And the very first thing, you know, the feeling of being abandoned, that really resonates very deeply with me because it goes way, way back. Wow. And um, as I was reading through all of the different um, belief, limiting beliefs, um, I was also bullied as a, as a teenager uh, for about five or six years. And 
some yeah and pretty some of that stuff runs really deep now i mean i've been aware of it but when i started going through all the beliefs and i was like yeah i got that yeah i got that oh god i got that too and you know it was like oh my god you know i'm more messed up when you see it all together <laughs> it was kind of oh this is kind of good but it's also kind of scary you know right but do you, I, see, you see, yeah. do you also see that just that's the first step is to become aware of the specific belief that's running in the background, that's running the show. Because mm -hmm. as soon as you shine a spotlight on it, then you can take very practical steps to remove it. Yeah. You no, know, I was really meant to meet you, Anne. I was really meant to come find my way to you and to this course because from everything i've watched on all the other videos and uh, people that have completed the course i mean they say and the people i've met study partners on the group they say that it's life-changing you know and and that's so encouraging not just for business but for your personal life your relationships your your relationship with yourself you know that's that's everything isn't it well thank you for that first of all um that makes me even more motivated <laughs> when i hear that because it's not just a business program it's not yeah. it actually does have a positive ripple effect mm -hmm. on the rest of your life and that's because remember what our product is our product is emotion so it yeah. cannot have a positive ripple effect on the other aspects of your being and um if you do the work you got to do the work yeah you know yeah. It, yes, doesn't, so. it doesn't come with you sitting there passively you have to do the work and you have to trust the process mm -hmm. and in order to trust the process you have to trust yourself yeah. and if you don't trust yourself you do the code to joy exercise you know, I've, I've read so many um, self-help books and different things like this, and I never, for, I never connected that. It so sounds so strange now when you, I say it out loud. The art and all of that stuff. You know, like I mean, I knew my art was relating back to that, but like the clearing bit, the work, the work, doing the work. I just never put those two pieces together really until I started reading that book and I went like, holy crap. You know? well, wait until you get into course number two and you start to see specifically how your most painful moments are actually a gift. I've been trying to build community, but I feel now like I've walked into the right community for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they're they're i'm very proud of their community i really really am i'm very yeah. proud of them we don't have so a lot of artists communities i know a lot of artists so one of the reasons that i put together the study pro partner program is because a lot of artists live in isolation they operate in isolation yeah. and um if they do try to join an artist community so many of them are competing with one another and when you're competing with other people, what comes up? Competition is competition yields jealousy and even snobbery. And um, so we don't have any of that. It's it's important. Community is very very important to me. It is anyway. It, it is to any human yeah. being. We don't we don't succeed alone. And if yeah. you're trying to sell your art by yourself, I'm telling yeah. you, it is too hard, it's too lonely, and it's no damn fun. I mean, you guys get to celebrate with one another. I, I feel like this is the right step for me to take right now. It's very encouraging feeling, you know, to hear all the positive feedback from people that have completed as well. It's, yeah. Good. It's a good investment in ourselves as artists, I feel. Well, I'll say this with all honesty. I'm not even two weeks in, and already I've gained knowledge that I would not have otherwise. Wow. And I mean, I'm, I'm just started. I have done like five segments of course one, and I've learned so much already that it's, it's been valuable enough.
the, you know, to, to warrant a tuition fee. Wow. And I'm just getting started. You have 130 or something lessons. So I mean, you've done half of the first of eight courses and it's worth the tuition investment already. Yes. Yes. There you go. I mean, it's not me saying it. I'm not saying it. To learn, to learn about not devaluing your work. You know, to learn about not entering these art contests because that was one thing I was considering. Oh, I'm so glad I haven't gotten, you know, gone down that road. But I mean, all of these things that I've just learned from being part of the community and right. a, a couple of segments of your course, if the first course. I mean, that's valuable stuff. Right. And you, it's very highly specialized knowledge. Yeah. And highly specialized uh vetting process not every this this program is not for every artist no i you know well, and the one thing because i questioned myself because you know for me it was i what profit i had in my business in my first year i spent on my tuition you know and i i i do believe i'm going to get that back and hopefully you have to if you want to graduate <laughs> Course, right? But the one thing, the one question that kind of that I answer, asked and answered myself was, if I don't invest in myself, who's going to? Exactly. Why would anybody else invest in me if I'm not willing to invest in myself? Exactly. It is the best investment you can make is in yourself. That's what Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor, says. The best investment you can make is in yourself. And here's the thing. There's no damn risk. It's I've got a 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee. I don't want you in there if you're not happy. So I'll give you your money back after, you know, with you got 30 days. Um, but if you don't do anything and you keep doing the same damn thing over and over again, it's just not working. Yeah. That's a negative decline. You're going to continue to get diminishing returns. And the thing of it is you're going to eat up your time and that's an asset you'll never get back. That's right. Can't restore time. You can maybe get your money back, but you can't restore time. And you don't know how long you have. None of us are getting out of here alive. I mean that. I don't mean that to be scary or threatening. It's just a fact. We really should examine our mortality. If you're not happy. You can change on a dime. I Trust me, I've lost enough of my family suddenly that I know that. it's Your, your life can change on, in a second. Right. You know? in a second so take the so do what you want to do yeah. do what you want to do or happy for God's sake. this is that the we're put on this planet to be happy you exactly. know do something to be happy <laughs> and yeah. if you can make a living from it well that's even a, a thousand times better isn't it you exactly. know exactly and you know if and here's the thing if you want to make a full-time living selling your art, great. If you don't want to do that, you just want to do it part-time, great. It's all up to you. You do what you want. Mm -hmm. We'll support you either way. Mm -hmm. So, well, I know it's late in Norway. <laughs> it's not late here in San Francisco. I'm going to let you go to bed and just okay. tell you I really appreciate you taking the time to speak to me so late at night and to share you what you have already gained in one half of course one 11 days <laughs> 11 days i started on new year's day oh how perfect is that awesome okay well i'm looking forward to you graduating i have no doubt you will and i look forward to hearing more progress keep sharing because every time you share a new insight a new progress it helps you. It helps it affirm it in you, but it also inspires all your fellow students. So please keep doing that. Yeah. Thanks for having me, and I really appreciate getting to speak with you in person. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. I love speaking to my students. I, I, it's, it's, and I get to highlight them. You know, I get to show, I get to show you guys off when I do this. So it's my pleasure. <laughs>